News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290, and now 101.5 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. A major data leak at Hellgate High School. And it's worse than mom just getting a peek at your report card. Good morning, it's John King filling in for Peter Christian. He's out of the office today with a little bit of a cold. Hope he gets better soon. Uh, Our newscast brought to you this morning by the Mustard Seed Asian Cafe in Southgate Mall. Missoula County Public School District 1 is investigating why a bunch of private, confidential information about Hellgate students and one school staffer were sent to parents of Hellgate High School football players last Friday. The information included very sensitive details, including which students at schools were failing classes, which students were seeking mental health counseling, and even details about family abuse cases. Although school officials were unable to do any interviews on the issue yesterday, Superintendent Mark Thane released the following statement, quote, We deeply apologize for any inconvenience or concerns this incident may cause for students and families. While this was an unintentional release of information, we understand that the district is ultimately responsible to safeguard student information, end quote. According to School District Public Information Officer Hatton Littman, the district has hired an outside forensic investigator to inspect the computer and email that caused the data breach. No word on exactly who is doing that investigation, though. The email appears to have been sent by Hellgate High School Assistant Principal Lynn Farmer. Yesterday, two Montanans were celebrated for their work in combating HIV-AIDS in Montana. HIV and STD Prevention Coordinator for Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services, Judy Nielsen, says one of the awardees was Dr. Raymond Geyer of Great Falls. The other is a physician's assistant from Missoula by the name of Wynn Lewis. He was not necessarily familiar with HIV care but he was willing to learn and and stepped in to fill a void for Partnership Health Center, and their HIV clinic was very grateful for his service. Nielsen says the HIV infection rate for Montana has been stable, but that's not the case for one particular STD. We get an average of approximately 20 to 24 new infections identified per year. The STD front is not quite as rosy. Gonorrhea is troubling us with double number of cases in each of the last three years. We are calling it um, an epidemic. 720 Montanans have been infected with gonorrhea so far this year. That's a startling increase considering that just three years ago the infection rate was less than 200 people per year. Montana officials are considering changes to a new information technology policy after hearing concerns from freedom of information advocates. The Missoulian reports the policy requires state agencies to classify all data as public, confidential, secret, or top secret. Those words raised concerns for the Montana Freedom of Information Act Hotline Board. Chairwoman Melody Martinson says board members worry that categories like secret and top secret could be used by state officials to conceal information that should be public. Chief Information Officer Ron Baldwin said last week that he was just thinking about it and not legal and not the legal meaning of the words. Right now, the Cassini spacecraft is flying around the planet Saturn, sending data back to scientists all over the world. One of the scientists working on the Cassini solstice mission is University of Montana professor of physics and astronomy Daniel Reisenfeld, whose work has helped solve a uh, helped solve a astrophysical conundrum. Early on in the mission, we discovered that. Um the magnetosphere of Saturn, which is the region in space uh, around Saturn that's filled with plasma, which is ionized gas, um, most of the composition of that magnetosphere is uh, water ions from a moon of Saturn called Enceladus. Scientists wanted to know why the water was in the magnetosphere and where it's going. An instrument developed here in Montana helped them find the answer. There's an instrument on board Cassini which analyzes the composition of the plasma, and I have developed a technique for taking the raw data that the instrument collects and interpreting it and actually detecting the water ions. Most of the uh, technique was developed here uh, at the university. It turns out the water ions were trapped by two different magnetospheres with an exit point that was hidden behind the planet. Reisenfeld and other scientists hope this discovery will lead to a better understanding of other fast-spinning objects like Jupiter and quasars. 
Northwestern Energy officials say they won't appeal a big increase in the company's Montana property taxes after last year's $900 million purchase of 11 hydroelectric dams. Instead, the company's customers will pay for nearly uh, $23 million in tax hike. Uh, <clears throat> Public Service Commission members questioned Northwestern and Department of Revenue officials about the taxes Monday. They expressed frustration at the amount and the utility's ability to simply pass most of it on to its, cons- its uh, customers. Rather, Northwestern underestimated the final tax increase by about $5 million. Attorney John Alkey says the utility decided against an appeal because the Montana Tax Appeal Board does not favor corporate taxpayers. Alki says the hikes will amount to about a 4.5% increase in the typical electricity customer bill and 4.9% average increase for natural gas customers. Many Montana ski resorts are open now, but they're also struggling through low snowfall. Many resorts have just a few runs open due to lack of snow, and National Weather Service meteorologist Dan Zumpf says snowfall will likely be light all winter long. During the El Nino winter, which is what we're having this winter and, and coincidentally was what we had last winter, uh, tends to be warmer and drier for the northern Rockies uh, by and large. Uh, over the next uh, week or so, we're looking at a lot of precipitation coming to the area, but uh, there's no guarantee that's going to continue throughout the uh, winter. So we think it's going to be uh, lower than normal snowpack for the year. There's a lot of precipitation coming in the next week, uh, including today, but temperatures will likely be too warm to turn that rainfall into snowpack below 5,000 feet. Snow levels be going above 5,000, 6,000 feet doesn't quite bode well for, uh, you know, the ski areas, most of them having their bases below uh, 7,000 feet, so... Uh, it, it's, go, it's going to be a little, little tough to, to say if the snow conditions are going to be optimal. Anything can happen with Montana's weather, but there's growing consensus that it's going to be a tough winter for snow sports.